the key to a perfect body. Growing up, I thought of a physical game that requires you to do tasks in order to earn powers like super strength, light speed, or power jumping. But I thought to myself, isn't that basically what it means to exercise or to bodybuild? Listen, what if I told you you could basically gain power or get more athletic just by building your body? Of course, you will never get to the point where you can travel at the speed of light, but there's always a way you can improve your body both physically and mentally. When you look at a bottle of water, you might think it is plain, simple, non-beneficial, or even disgusting. Because that is because many more prefer, people will much more prefer Coke or Sprite because there's more of a taste to it, or they would prefer warm suits or protein shakes because they think it is more beneficial for their body. But I can easily prove them wrong because according to Chris Heria, a famous and experienced calisthenics athlete, drinking water helps you stop retaining water it also gets rid of lots of toxins and waste, which boosts your metabolism and acts as a natural appetite suppressant, keeping your calories low, which is necessary when you're trying to maintain a shredded physique. And so that's why the next time you look at a bottle of water, think farther into it, because it is more like a lifesaver and the key to a perfect body than just some plain old simple beverage that brings no benefits. Now moving on to stretching. Lots and lots of trainers, bodybuilders, and top class athletes ignore the importance of stretching. But the thing is, according to Frontiers.org, stretching is responsible for 2-3% to of your strength. And yes, even though that doesn't sound like much at all, it helps your body to reach its full potential. And that is extremely important. Another thing people tend to believe is that stretching is the warm up. But that is wrong. Just like exercising, you need a warm body to be able to stretch. And believe it or not, you can hurt yourself a lot more in stretching with cold muscles than in exercising with cold muscles. A good way to warm your body is by doing jumping jacks, running a couple of laps or a mile or a couple of miles, um, depending on how warm you want your body to be. A good way to stretch is known as PNF. PNF involves the contraction and stretching of the muscles. PNF was first used in rehabilitation. It is, a good, um, it is a good way to stretch your body and to help you perform better. But before we move on, a really common mistake people make is in overstretching, and that's when your muscles are too loose to work. According to the University of Nevada, overstretching can lead to the decrease of 30% of your strength. And yes, that is a lot. So if you have a big race coming up the next day, Please do not overstretch because that is just going to make you weaker and make you perform worse than you can. And now moving on to my favorite part, which is, of course, bodybuilding. Now, lots of people tend to believe that there is no point in bodybuilding because it's just to help your body look better or to help you lift heavier things, which is not so often. But there's a lot more that bodybuilding improves, so this is why you should bodybuild. According to OPEX.org, bodybuilding improves motor control. According to them as well, bodybuilding is the regulation of movement by the central nervous system, which is a good way to increase muscle memory, helps you make quicker decisions because your heart rate is up and it just opens your mind. Another thing bodybuilding helps is that it creates a metabolic advantage. Bodybuilding is a great tool to use when you're trying to change body composition, which is the proportion of fat and non-fat mass in your body. Another thing bodybuilding focuses on is, of course, the most obvious strength. And yes, even though lots say bodybuilding is a lot of work and you don't get much help out of it, they're wrong. You see, from every liter of oxygen you breathe in, you burn about five calories. So by working out, you're not just working your muscles by picking up those weights, you're also benefiting from many of the small things you're doing in the process. But in my opinion, the best benefit of bodybuilding is in shaping your body. There's nothing that feels better to see a nice ripped body after every workout. It is so good when you see your abs, legs, triceps, biceps after every workout, and um, when you feel sore and tired, it's just a motivation to keep going. And it even feels better because you finally get to realize you did something that benefited you. In the end, bodybuilding prepares you both physically and mentally. And at the end of every workout, it's just a motivation to keep going. But lots reject the idea because they do not know where to start. 
But the thing, the place to start is never in the gym, starts in your head. So get to bodybuilding. Thank you for listening.